Hey, what is going on, everybody? We have a huge series coming up. It is the 2021 season opener, opening day, Miami Hurricanes. Here's a look at the new roster. All the newcomers are in here. Chad Bourne. I'm making sure we got everybody ready to go. I see a lot of big names. I'm excited about this one. We've got two games against Richmond. I'm going to knock those out really quickly, and we are going to get to the 2021 Hurricanes. I'm going to talk about the season, the team they have coming up, tons of newcomers. If you like this series, hit the like button if you could, and also subscribe to the channel. You guys have been great showing your support and looking forward to another season. Last year was incredible. We won the College World Series, but we're replacing a lot of key guys. So here we go. Game one of the 2021 season. Unfortunately, I am not able to set the schedule, so we're just going to go with it. But basically, looking at this team, there's a lot of question marks on the pitching staff. A lot of battles to be had. Coach Gino Damari actually said that this is the most competitive it's been since he's been at UM in terms of the starting pitching. So what he's saying is there's eight guys fighting for all four spots. I went ahead and made... Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, I am ready. I am ready to go. I was just getting ready to say I need to throw a strike, but now I, I got Johandi Morales at shortstop, the freshman from Braddock. I got him at shortstop. Here's a look at the lineup. Pretty much you guys know everybody, but we'll get to a couple newcomers. Christian Del Castillo and Chad Bourne are a couple of the notables there. Wow, incredible play by Morales to start his UM career. I'm looking forward to having big things with him. But kind of going back... Okay, here we go. We are going to have way less errors this year. I promise you that. I promise you we're going to have less errors. So going with Alex McFarland, going back to the starting pitching. Eight pitchers looking for four spots. McFarland's the only one that started games last year. Some of the other guys that are returning that are being considered at this point. Preseason practices start in late January. Season's supposed to start February 19th. Gino said they're going to play the Gators. So McFarland's the only one of the guys that have started last year, but other returners are Daniel Fetterman, who's been a closer. He's going to be given a look to be a starting pitcher. Jenkins getting it started. Leadoff hitter. There we go. Jenkins had a good year for me last year. One of the things, if you guys saw the last video, you saw that his power numbers, his power ratings actually went up, so I'm looking forward to a big year. I was wanted to check something real quick. But anyways, Chad Bourne. We will get to the starting pitching. Yeah, here we go. We got a steal second. So Chad Bourne is a freshman. Had a really good fall. He's from California. Line drive, All right, right line out there. Had a really good fall. It was one of the standouts of the fall. And I think he's got a chance to earn playing time, even though there are other outfielders returning. Foul Adrian Del Castillo is back. You see the crazy numbers that he has, his ratings. Hit oh, on that's the ground terrible. The second baseman. Over to first. But I went ahead and started born in right field. The junior. Give you guys a look at the newcomers. As always, drop in the comments if there's guys in the lineup that you want to see. Okay, these are, the there's so much going on. I'm trying to have a this good season, a good start over. to the season. Miami Getting a couple ground outs third. here to, to start it. It's still scoreless. But that's okay. We had that big play by Morales at shortstop. There's so much to get to. I guess we can kind of go back to the, the pitchers. The other pitchers are, there we go. I just need to make sure I pump Takes in some strikes. Strike on a fastball. Fetterman, and they're also going to give a look at Jake Garland. He was actually going to start last year before the season right. ended early, but they weren't able to give him a look. But he's, he's going to be considered. So those Number are the three returners that they're next. really going to be looking at. And it's not to say that the other guys... You know, can't jump in there, but these are the, these are just the eight pitchers they're looking at right now, and the way it works in fall, you know, preseason practices where guys will get a couple innings, they kind of just rotate two, three innings, and as it goes on, they kind of work themselves up to more work. We got to throw that over. There we go. And the five newcomers, Alejandro Rosario is the top draft pick, or draft prospect he wasn't drafted because of the five round draft but he was a top 25 recruit going to perfect game and then victor Mert medeiros is another guy both those guys that are really hard really good to have them in the program medeiros was a top 100 player as well 
track that down for Jenkins. So those are two guys. Jake Smith is a Juco player, about 6'5". He's originally from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, but he ends up at Miami. I think he's going to have a, a shot to be in that four for sure. Has good stuff, good movement on his secondary pitches with a good fastball. Another guy that throws hard. And just going to lay off a little bit. Raymond Gill. What in the world? All right, we got to fix that really quickly. But anyways, as far as the other pitchers go, I mean, I got to just, I don't know what happened here. I'll get this thing figured out. There we go. As far as the other pitchers go that they're looking at with, other than those three, I think, you know, Jordan Duberly is a guy that might get a shot as well. He's one of the eight. Started his career at Georgia. Didn't play there, but then ended up transferring to Juco. So he's certainly a guy, you know, just to keep an eye on as well. There's a jam shot to the left side. Throw to first. Flips it to first for the out. So certainly plenty of options on the pitching side of things. And it, here's another guy that performed well in the fall. That's Kristen Del Castillo. Transfers from Seton Hall. Oh, nice. This would be a great start. Okay, there we go. Opposite field. Right to the gap. One off the wall. There we go. We'll take that double. That's a great start. I had to the take third. I thought I could only get a double, but I had to take third. We're gonna, we're always gonna press. I'm not sure exactly what his speed is. Okay, here's Morales. I want to do something big for Morales here. In his first at bat after that big catch. Oh my goodness! I think we got it. Nice home run for Morales. First pitch. They threw that inside pitch. I was waiting on something. His power ratings were okay, but I was able to get out of, get it out of there. That's a great start. 2-0, start us off. Morales, this is how you make a debut. And yes, I do think he's got a shot to start at shortstop. Anthony Villar is another guy that could play short. And as you see, Villar changed his number from 27 to number 7. And if you guys follow, okay, it might be safe here. There we go. If you guys followed that last episode, so basically it was just like re recruiting for this season. I kind of wrapped it up. And then what I did was I just changed the names. I didn't mess with the attributes at all. So these freshmen coming in, I either have to recruit better because I'm just going to leave their ratings the same. I want their potential to be good, but I'm not adjusting anything from the jump. You see Bourne here, you know, so if you see the freshman numbers, the, they're gonna, the ratings are going to be a little modest. And with that, it's going to be a little bit more of a grind this year. I, I thought the lineups were set pretty good last year with their ratings and whatnot. So. Jenkins on the fly out. So that's the big thing to watch for with the offense is the corner outfield spots. Hit to the left I went with Del Castillo and Bourne just to give you guys that look on, on two guys two that out. played well in the fall. Jacoby Long is another guy, a freshman who did well in the fall. But also, you know, returners Gabe Rivera. Oh, my goodness. Bat. Did I give up a homer? Oh, my. That's frustrating. I do not want to be giving up homers. I know my pitching is going to take a, a little Super bit of a hit this year even though we like the guys that we're going to compete with and my plan is to go with McFarland game one Jake Smith game two but that's how I want to start it out but definitely let me know in the comments who you want to see start I feel like I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't played this since we won the World Series last year, last season. I figured I would just want to see if that was a strike or not. But I want to kind of get this season down. going. Over to first and one gone. You know, kind of talk about the preseason a little bit as Miami gets ready for its regular, you know, its real season. Thought this would be a good way to talk about the team, kind of get hyped for baseball and whatnot. Ball 
Oh my goodness. Terrell and Del Castillo have really good ratings this year, and they did last year as well, but I seem to struggle more with my left-handed hitters. Definitely need to make sure I'm on point. Swing and a miss on a fastball at with those guys, one thing I noticed too is those guys can really rack up doubles. So I need to just take those doubles. But Gabe Rivera is another guy I was talking about. Could be a corner outfield spot. Definitely has some power there. I, I made him the DH in this one. And then Jordan Lala. You know, he didn't have a great season last year. This one's got a chance. Did we get a home run here? Nope, Makes almost. Grab at the Good wall. power by Gil, though. Three, it's two to one. But Miami's season was only 16 games last year. And Lala didn't hit very well. I know they really liked him the year before as a freshman. So we'll see how, how Lala Change bounces back. And then if you guys remember our season, Lala tore the ACL. And then... Uh, but he was having he was really good for us to be honest with you. Left. Okay, we the got some, get some speed like there. On it. One nice. out. As far as the Nobody other spots, it's base. pretty There's much set. Gone. You know, Gil will There's play third, Villar second, no Terrell first, Del Casillo will catch. As far as a back backup catcher goes, they still have Jared Thomas. And then they brought in freshman There's Carlos Perez. Throw to first. That's I think Thomas will also get out. a look in the outfield Three. as well. Swing so a lot of competition in the outfield. There's no doubt about it. And one of the things that's always been a staple at Miami for years, um, hearing Jim Morris talk about it and now Gino, is essentially There's they just feel like, you know, if guys are hitting – then they'll find the places for them. And I think that'll be the case, but they do have some flexibility one. with their outfielders because they have so many. But I don't think there's any question the with the competition today. at any of these spots that guys are going to have to be able to hit. I still have J or JP Gates as a designated hitter, but certainly that could change. I know JP... Hit the shallow right. You know, he pitched well last season. I think at some point they're going to want to really get him going as a pitcher. And he was someone that I thought maybe could get a shot as a starter. Essentially because most of their guys, if I think all of them are right-handed pitchers. And JP's a lefty. But I know they like the lefty out of the bullpen too. So, But if, it's some, if you're thinking about somebody outside the top eight, JP's the one. I think he's one, someone to maybe keep an eye on, depending on how he performs, of course. Another Juco guy to mention. First takes oh. off. That throw gets by the fielder. The junior with the steal. Actually, not a Juco guy. Sorry, Great I, I want to make sure I got in there. You steal first by it's a little the tricky on trying to steal, on, the trying mile. to get the third on those, those plays up the middle. One on, I think one what I found out is if you go with the foot slide a little bit better. You can pop up on that off that slide and maybe get to third a little quicker, but I almost always slide head first. That Ricky Henderson style. So here we go. Oh my goodness. A lot to get to. We got this 2-1 lead. Oh, we're already through four innings. Okay. Back up the middle on the ground. Oh my goodness. That's that going to be an error for sure. I hate when that happens because it's the same when you push the direction to go after a ball. It's the, the same. To sacrifice. This Can we get there? Into foul nope. It's the same way as the way you throw to a base. That's why that happens sometimes. Can we get this one? This one oh, we got this one. Nice, Del Casillo. Del Casillo certainly working on his defense. All the projections that I've seen are, are he's going to be a first-round pick for this upcoming season, his third year at Miami. And I think as a catcher, you're, you're always trying to perfect your craft. He's obviously well-known for his hitting ability. Good scoop by Villar. So Del, Del Castillo, just something to watch for is his defense. The ball, 
making sure he's handling the pitchers well. And the coaches have talked about his improvement since he's been at UM. It seems like year to year, you know, each off off season phase, they always talk about his development defensively. So that's good to see. And this one's been no different. So look for a little bit more improvement from him there as well. So here we go, back to the game. Okay, we've got to get this guy out. We've got two outs here. Hit on All right, the ground, go. Toward the hole. Oh, I tried to tag him. First. We'll just go to first. Right, the there we go. The air did not hurt us. We'll go we've got three half. hits. It's two to one. We've got six hits here. So we've got Jenkins. We've got top of the order here. That foul caught the catcher. Hit out to right. He's out. I do think Jenkins, I said this last year, if you guys remember, I think Jenkins can have a big, you know, just a very productive year. I still think that can happen. Get on the ground to the second Man, base. Not driving the ball like I'd hope. Throw to first. And now I do want to rotate outs. guys in there for sure. The sophomore will have an opportunity. Nice. Drive to deep left. Oh my goodness, that's tough. And the inning is over. After five, it's a good drive by Del Castillo. Number 11 is up next. Also, I forgot to mention, if you guys are curious about Here's recruiting, ball. The outfielder racing so I'm going to do recruiting differently just to see if we can kind of mix it up. But I'm going to do it after the first game of, the of a video. Of the over to first. I'm still going to recruit before the games, but I just want to, you know, just basically for the video aspect of it, I just want to jump right into the games as opposed to taking those first five minutes or so for recruiting. So that will be the plan. So stick around after this game. I'll go right into recruiting. I have different philosophy with how I want to do it because of how last year went. So I'm definitely, my plan is I'm going to go after the top guys. And I'm just going to stay on like the top two or three guys until we get some commitments. Because basically what was happening was I was not pushing the bar to a commitment like I needed to. And basically nobody committed. And we had to do with walk-ons and all kinds of stuff. You saw that last video. I think we got some quality guys. We got some ratings in the 70s. Hit pretty well. Man, that's a tough fly out. It is crazy I, just to think that baseball is coming up here shortly. Especially some of you different parts of the country where the weather does not feel like baseball weather, but certainly in South Florida it, it always is. So let's see here. I just want to make a change. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot Rivera was a DH. No sense on uh, making that change. But yeah, just I want to get guys other, you know, more guys at bats, especially early on, especially with the newcomers based on their ratings, because I'm a little curious to see how they play. I remember last year, Mike Anthony Valdez didn't have the highest ratings, but he came out firing. So I'm hoping we have some sort of hot streak like that with some of our guys. Grounder to the left side of oh, the I infield. think I could have snagged that one. The fielder comes up with it and throws. Number 19 is digging in. He squares to sacrifice. They're definitely trying to Foul get this last, run, you know, this tying run across so that. Looking for that sack bunt. Fastball caught the with one out, so he didn't show bunt there. But 0-2 and, and certainly... It'd be a surprise if they bunt here, so let's see if we can swing him. There Number we go. Is very Need to try to get strikeouts. I'm going to try to get more of those. And I know the key is, you know, throwing that third strike out of the zone. I feel like you can get more Breaking strikeouts that way as opposed to try to strike. sneak one in there for a called third strike. Ball on the corner. Good pitch there. Oh, 
Oh, that was so Checked close. I was trying it again really with that third close. strike. So this is McFarland. This is seventh inning, but his stamina percent's pretty good. Number 18 nice. is just dominating hitters tonight. He is cruising. He did it again. Richmond leaves a man on. Okay, we got Del Castillo, Morales, and Villar. 7, 8, 9 coming up. Also, if you guys have comments on the batting order, definitely drop that in as well. I don't see him on here because you can only have 25 guys active. But Nicholas Regalado is another is a freshman who's also being considered a, for our starting spot. He's that eighth guy. I forgot to mention him. But anyways, for us, like I said, he's not on the active list. We have 30 on the roster and 25 are active for each game. The way it Hit works. Get to the left side. The throw across the infield. He is out. Here we go, Morales. That's good speed too. I like that. I'm gonna try to steal bases with he him. Takes a fastball high, one and zero. Oh. Nobody on base and one gone. That was a little high. Two I definitely. Balls, I'm no not strikes. sure. I think with Fetterman, I I'm thinking about bringing him in here for the eighth. I'm thinking Fetterman and then Ben Wenger to close it out. Transfer from USC. I think that with having him is the reason why they're looking at Fetterman even as a starter. But I'm going to keep Fetterman in the bullpen just because I want to give him innings. And it's such a tight game right now. So that's good. There we go. He's on his way to second. Man, he's having a huge game. Second. This is great. Number 35 is on. Wow, with a this would double. be great. And I want Palm Quist up as well because I think he's going to be that setup guy as a left handed pitcher there. Take a look at the lineup here, but I'm going to stick with Valar. That ball's hit in the air to left. Can we run on him? High ball and the left fielder moving over. Yeah, I don't know. Some, I know the throw is offline, but man, it would have been tight. I don't want to. I'm going to give the top of the order a chance to drive him in. Ball inside, change up misses. Two gone. A ground oh my ball goodness. headed for the hole. He's yeah, we definitely there. had a crazy winning streak Miami last year. A man on and and I am I am I am definitely in it for the grind. I, I feel like this year's gonna we still have high expectations, of course. And I want to win a college world series once again. It got to be a lot of fun down the stretch with the ACC tournament, regional play, super regionals, the facing the gators and everything. So that was a lot of fun. And the College World Series had to beat Vanderbilt. Okay, Raymond Gill. There we go. All right, Betterman's on point here. So Chambliss, this is the guy that hit the home run. So I want to make sure I'm careful here. I can't believe we only have two runs, but... Hit to shallow center. Oh my goodness. But I don't want to be too, you know, some, you can't put up 10 every game. So is with a single, I'm not worried right now. There we go. Baseman. Pretty quick inning for Fetterman. But I still want to bring out Winger, Winger for the third, Richmond right, for the ninth. A man on first. We're headed to the Seven the hits inning. for us. Okay, Born, Ducasio, Terrell. Nobody has a hit of this group. Man, With my timing. 
Need to go to the batting cages. There we go. I don't think he has. I gotta. I gotta keep him at first. The throw to second. Oh, we made it. Good. The freshman is on with the double. I was thinking about. I thought we should have kept him at first, but swung through the heater. We had him went for it. Let's see if we can add an insurance run. These are exactly the people that we want up to bat. That was a good play by Bourne. I still wanted to, I thought he was definitely not going to be able to, to get a double there, but when I saw him rounding with that big round at first, I thought it'd be good to go ahead and take second. So, okay, one, two count. Definitely want something away here. Oh, and he goes inside. Out. High and inside with the sinker. That's so tough. Okay. All right, Terrell. So Bourne, yeah, has speeds of 42. Toward left. Oh my goodness. He had to lay out to make the play on that one. Definitely would have liked to have had that back. Okay, Number Raymond Gilly drove that ball to the warning track. Let's see if we can get a hit here. Oh, they're just going to potentially walk like him. That's okay, Number Rivera with that righty-lefty matchup. I like it. Let's go. But this time I want to make a change. we got to have some speed on for here. Okay, I see Lala's 85 speed. Let's do that. We do not have a lot of speed on the, ben the, on the bench with our young guys. The runner goes. Get down. Throw to third. There we go. Safe at third on the steal. All right. Great Just got to get something. Got to get something here. There's a jam shot yeah. to the left side. On to first. This pitcher was pretty good. The they they didn't over. replace him. He kept me off balance. The left-handed pitching. Number four is up next. A lot of hooks there on the inside. The Hurricanes are making a substitution. Let's go ahead and bring the out our closer. Get first look at, at Ben here. Closer into the ball game. It's a great call by the head coach. All you He's need a guy that could also be a DH win. if they need an extra bat, but I think Miami will be fine. And I remember talking to Ben over the summer, last summer, and it is Hit definitely the concentrating on pitching. The so. Over to first. The runner is oh, my goodness. Lead-off batter gets on first up. base. Hopefully that's not crushing. The batter squares to sacrifice. There's a bunt. We gotta get it. Throw to first. Okay, there we go. My goodness. Okay, we got one out here. Sky to left. Hangs in the air long enough for a play. We gotta throw to third. The left fielder makes tagging. the catch. Okay, no, he's going back. Good, good, good. We'll definitely take that. All right, two outs. Hit throw strikes. Right. Breaking ball right at the knees over the outside edge. Strike. There we go. Oh, two. This is exactly what I want. I want to try to go off speed. See if I can throw something out out of the zone for strike three. And that does it nice, for the got him with that two seam fastball. I thought that'd be a good choice. So there we go. So we got that win, first win of the season, first game of the year. Opening day is in the books. There are some things I liked. I don't like the two eight hits and only two runs, but you know our defense was pretty good at that poor play for the error. But the pitching was good. McFarland was good, and that's not a guarantee this year. So that's a good start for him. Definitely want to try to keep him in that starting rotation. I would definitely want to show you guys the box scores each game, so I'll run through this really quickly. Yeah, that middle of the order, a lot of offers in there. That's good to see Morales with a good game. Very encouraging. I want to try to get awards for, for everybody. Definitely with that all-rookie stuff. All ACC rookie team looking at the pitching. McFarland. Four hits, no walks. That's good. 
That was good. So that was a good win. So we are going to get into recruiting. Here are the top 100 players. These guys are interested. The number one player in the country is interested. He's an 87 overall, Josh Rippey. As you learned, as you saw last year, the number two prospect, John Saunier, actually enrolled in school, went to College of Charleston. So we are going to go all out for Rippey, number one player in the country, even though he's draft, he has a draft buzz. I think he's going to be a guy we're definitely going to try to go after. I'm just, you only get 150 points right now, so we're going to go 50, 6'5". You can also play infield, probably a first baseman. Got Mitch Basham out of Arkansas, catcher, outfielder, 77 overall. That would be great. We did not bring in the 77. Peter Simon. Let's do that. Let's go with those guys out of Florida. Peter Simon, I like it. Huge priority for us. We got to get him. Got to stay in state. I like these guys. I like these other guys as well, but once again, I've got to get commitments, and then I'll move on to this next group. But I definitely just want to keep these guys. Take a look at these guys, and maybe I should be a little bit more selective and instead of just looking at the overall ranking. So. Sean Dalton, shout out to my home state of Kansas. There we go. Guys from all over the place, Missouri, Iowa. Roy Rivera. Okay. Is that Lovejoy? Macklemore out of Kentucky. Okay, we got some guys to look at here. These are all top 100 players, a lot of recruits. They need those three prestige. Jeff Biggio in there, I like the name. Just a quick look at the recruiting. We will get more into that moving forward. But those are the top three guys. Okay, here we go. Game two. We had a great game in the first one. Eked it out on a two-to-one win. I'm excited about this one. We definitely need to get off to a good start here. Play well and get, get another win. I'd like to see the bats heat up. I am going with Jake Smith today. Juco transfer. Put up big numbers. He's got a big arm. One thing that's interesting, though, to watch for, though, I was a little disappointed. So, basically, Jake's stamina was low, and then I tried to make him a starter with this stamina, and then all of a sudden he's coming in. Okay, this is not a good start. Cut that off. There we go. Got Jordan Lala in there today, mixing up the lineup a little bit just to get some other guys in there. But Smith's stamina coming into the game isn't very good. Oh my goodness, and I'm get, I am getting rocked already. Okay, this is not the start we are hoping for tonight. Take a look at our defensive lineup here. I made some changes, going with some different guys. But I'm, I got Morales still in there, but I'm going with Jacoby Long, a freshman, and Jordan Lala, the corner spots there. Those were the changes, taking out Del Castillo and Bourne. Okay, my timing is not on point with Smith. Each pitcher has a little bit different speed on, on their bars here. But I've got to throw strikes. There we go. And hits this one to straight My goodness, away. is that going to drop? Field. Three straight hits to start it. This is not what we wanted from Jake Smith's debut. Bases loaded. This is a much different game already than the first one. Okay. Let's see if we can relax him a little bit. And that did not work out well. See, you can see it already. His stamina is at 70%. Bases loaded, nobody out. And I think that's a, I'm already coming into the game a little off. I just need to battle through this. But basically, it's because I adjusted the stamina and it didn't go full the way I thought it would to start off the season. Fastball I didn't think it'd be this missed. big of an issue. I didn't even think it'd be an issue at all, to be honest with you. But, okay, we've got to... Grind through Two this. Balls, no strikes. Strike one. Fastball on the inner half. Need to get some strikes. Strike. Try to limit the damage here. There we go. Oh my goodness. Ball. And they score the first run of the game. Okay, they hold a guy at third, Number but now we're down 2 0. Okay. A little disappointing there because I'm throwing it where it needs to go and they're able to get a hit a little early Morales unable to get oh my goodness he'll throw to second everyone is safe three to nothing this is a terrible start nobody out 
Everybody's getting base hits here. I've just got to settle in here. Fastball for a strike. Down and on the outside. But definitely, I definitely appreciate everybody. And also, once again, drop in the comments who you want to see in the starting rotation. I went with McFarland in that first one, and now Jake Smith. I think Jake is, has a good chance to be a starter for the Hurricanes when they open up. He's got to have a good preseason, but he's a guy I'm hearing good things about. Fastball in. I am just ball. having a rough time with him right now. I'd hate to pull the plug on his debut, but man, this is not going well. Stamina already down to 63%. Ball to left field. The left field there we go. That's all we need. Let's get one out the there. Throw to third. Number 25 is up next. It's 3 0, but I definitely feel like we can get three runs. So I'm not too concerned. We definitely need to pick up our hitting, though, from that first game. I think I only had like seven or – I think maybe eight hits with the two runs on that home run by Morales. A long drive oh, my goodness. No. no doubt about that one. Oh, that's so crushing. What in the world is going on? So we are down 6-0. I, I, I can't try to power through this. I got to try to fix this. Who do we got here? Medeiros, Garland. Rosario. Let's get Rosario in. Highly touted freshman. Let's we'll see if he can change things up. I just, like I said, I was a little concerned, but I didn't think it'd go this bad. Already down 6 0, only one out. We've got to warm him up, get a new pitcher in here. Man, that three run homer was devastating because I was feeling good. With, I felt like we could get the three runs back, but. Hit towards second. There we go. Okay, Morales. Oh, nice. Nice defensive play. Two nice defensive plays by Morales to start his UM career. That's great to see. Oh, that was nice. Okay, two outs. Nobody on. Let's see if we can get out of this mess. Strike on the outside part of the plate with a fastball. And even though this I want to try to. I need just need to get outs. I'm not gonna worry about. Hit on the there we go. Okay, there the we go. The All right, so that was a terrible retired. first inning. Down 6-0, facing our first adversity of the season. We had some good comebacks last year. I don't. The I'm, I, is starting tonight. I'm, I'm sure we were probably down six at one point, but man. Number 51 is digging in. It is going to be hard not to try to get all these runs back early here. I hate see, down 6-0 to Richmond. This is terrible. Okay. Tap toward first. One out. So you see Lala here with the really good ratings, as you guys remember last year's. He had a good season a for us last year, but he had that ACL injury, knocked him out for the rest of the season, but he's good here and got a really good increase on the ratings. Breaking pitch inside. Has that good speed rating. You see it there, 85 on the speed. So when he gets on board, I need to try to steal bases with him. This one's oh my goodness, back. that was right down the middle, I think. A fly ball. That's gonna drop. We gotta go two on this one. The runner going for two. The runner went hard all the way and put himself in scoring And like position. I said before, just let me know on the lineup changes if you guys are curious. Not just like getting other guys in, but maybe different batting order. Fastball tails outside. Always ball. interested in new ideas. And also just with so many new names, kind of mixing guys in. But I still got Del Castillo here in the three spot. Hit to the That's got to get through. It's a diving grab. That's in time Man. for the out. It's a good defensive play. This nice by Toral. There we go. That's got to score a run. And they'll wave the runner oh, I don't know if he's going to make it. And it will oh, my goodness. That's not, <laughs> that's not even close. Man, I hate that. When it hits Number the wall, I always feel next. like it should be a double. That's all right. We got one run first. back. One away. And I guess my plan is with Smith is just to see if we can get him one inning at a time. I'd hate to go to the bullpen so early, but now we give up a hit. So I, I just 
I always, I gotta pay attention to see. If, I gotta get a new pitcher in here. I don't want to get. Number I don't want it to get out of hand. One today with a single. Even though it probably already is. A ground ball oh headed goodness. for the hole. The throw to second. He's on with a single. And I bet if you guys are watching right now, maybe you're thinking I should have made a move already. But man, I, I I'm just trying to. One out with runners now at first and I'm trying to get something positive out of his outing here. Even if it's like two or three innings. Foul ball just I feel outside like the line. if these two runners score, we definitely got to make a move. But we'll, we'll just play it by ear. One out right now. Okay, we got to get that. Lala, get there, get there. At 0 2. Nice. And makes the play. That's at 85 speed, so that's good to see. Covering a lot of ground. So that's two outs. Number 23 is up next. Get out of this. My timing is way short. off. He's rounding third. Jenkins. In oh, my goodness. <laughs> Game-changing performance. That's good. Good throw by Jenkins. Good tag game, by Del Casillo. I was waiting to see if it was going to be in there. So that's great. So we get out of the second Richmond inning. But, man, I got to make that move. We can't keep him in there. They keep getting hits. Let's see if we can make the move now. Looks like we have to wait to put in the pitcher. Some baseball games, they'll let you put your pitcher in, even if you're batting. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can do that. I just don't want him to get tired there in the bullpen. Yeah, I can't even substitute. Okay, it's okay. But I definitely want to start Bizarro for the third inning. Jake Smith. There's a drive to left. Is that Way out? Back. It's oh my ball. goodness, drilled the wall. He's on with a single. Man, that's a loud single. That's a good good hit by Gale there. Another change, I got Gates in here as a DH. Wow, and a that's miss a tough pitch. He's another guy that really improved right. his ratings in the offseason. See that 95 power, which is crazy because I think he only had a few home runs last year. Pops it into shallow left. Makes the catch for the first out. And then Morales had the home run in the opener. Let's see if we can just get some base hits. A at first, one out. Oh. He had a double a as well. Low. He's been our top freshman. I know it's only we're in the second game, but man, those defensive plays have been big. He hits a grounder oh, to the third baseman. Two gone. Get Throw to this. first. Oh, it's double play. Double I definitely didn't think that was going to happen. Two innings played. Number nine. So with Rosario, he was a top 25 prospect in the recruiting class. Has a really big arm. Gino said that last year when he watched him in high school, he threw 99. And he out of Miami in the fall, he was it's throwing 98. So he's got a big arm. The and he's a guy that, if you guys have been following hit. Dade County baseball for a while, um, you've known about Rosario because he's been, today. you know, right to, on the spotlight for a few years now. And honestly, he's a guy that I didn't expect to end up at Miami, but when the draft shortened to five rounds, then everything becomes wide open, and he certainly he's get that double play. Double nice, Terrell. Terrell's going for that gold glove. That's a nice play. Okay, so this is already going better. Foul tip. The pitching change. And you see Rosario's stamina is higher. And I, I definitely want to give Smith another crack at it because I felt like that was kind of my fault, or it definitely was in terms of getting him out there when he wasn't ready to go. But this is only a two-game series, and I wanted to get him out there. I didn't want to wait to get Smith, but obviously I probably should not have done that. Rounder to the third baseman. The throw across the infield. There we go. The nice, nice by Rosario. And I'm just going to keep him in there as long After as he can go. Half, okay, Jacoby Long. He's another guy is up. that played well in the fall. Impressed. A freshman to watch for. Hit toward third. Go foul. Foul go. off the left side. Oh. He takes that breaking ball. It's a tough outside. pitch to lay off of. His ratings aren't great, but I think if I can just 
kind of have a productive season, I'll be okay with this future. Get through. Oh, man. Speed. Oh, man. Now the number nine batter here. Drop in the comments if you like head first slides into first base. I know there's a lot of people that don't like it. It's supposed to run through it, but man, I always try to get those slides in. Line drive. Yeah, that's a good hard hit ball, but man. Kind of feel like we're not worried about hard hit balls. We need results. We need base hits. We are down six to one in the third inning. Fastball on the outside part of the plate. This one is crushed to right. It's out of here. Nice, Jenkins. I didn't know if that was going to go off the wall also, but that's nice. Home run. Pulls us up within 6-2. to two. That's a good start for Jenkins. You guys remember last season, man, he had that 10-game stretch. I think he had six home runs in a 10-game stretch. Number had a really good year. St stolen bases were up. That's a good start. I really like the top of the order right now with Lala and his high ratings and then we're going to Del Castillo and Terrell and I think I can get those guys going. Kind of happened last year with both of them too because you know you see the really high ratings so you're expecting to like always get a hit or a home run or a double something big as opposed to just kind of like taking what's given to them but Okay, there we go. We'll take a walk. I'm going to try to steal second here, even with two outs, even with Del Castillo up to bat. Because if I can get him to second, i got to play it just, you know, get run out of time. They know I want to steal. Get down. There we go. Okay, see if we get a base hit here. Ball Man, that is such a tough pitch. What am I going to do with that? Hooking it in there right on that inside corner. Man, that is such a tough pitch. Oh, my. Change up. One and two. Got to swing at strikes. Got to swing at swing at strikes. There we go. Outside, Learn my lesson there. Ball. Two, two count. Hit to the third baseman. He dives and Man, that it. side, That's that third, third baseman's out. really, he's got to have a really high defensive rating because he's made some really good plays. The I wish some of those would get through, next. but man. Okay, six to two in the fourth. Lala Fouled with the speed. Away. Yeah, it's going to drop. So if you guys haven't seen yet, the schedule was released with the ACC schedule. They're going to play 12 weekends. Three That's games each. I know, based on articles I was reading heading into the season, there was some discussion with conferences maybe going to four-game weekends it's with that doubleheader Saturday. Hey, um, some teams were even, uh, some the conferences even looking at three games over a two-day span, like a Saturday-Sunday, playing that doubleheader Saturday. But the ACC announced it's that they're going that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like they've been doing. I'm not sure if they're going to do that Monday game that they've done in the past, but basically three games over a weekend. Fastball inside. And they'll get started right after they play Florida that first series. Then they're scheduled to jump right into ACC play. They'll play everybody in the ACC this year except for Notre Dame. At least that's what's on the schedule. Obviously everything can change, but that's the way it's setting up. And I'm not sure how they're going to do non-conference with midweek games, obviously Miami has the luxury of playing the ability to play a bunch of in-state teams. Here's a grounder toward which can the help with travel and whatnot, so maybe that'll... But I don't know if every ACC team... It'll just depend. We'll just have to wait and see. Nice double play. I like that. Good defensive plays. That's a fourth, big emphasis for us this season. Two. I definitely want to be better defensively. It took me way too long to get into a better defensive groove. There we go, Terrell. That's got to be a double. We cannot get thrown out this time. He's going for two. The throw to second. Nice. It is not in I like that. I like that power to the gaps. I think Terrell definitely has that. Obviously, he's had a ton of home runs at Miami. And I think I've been surprised he's not has many has not had as many doubles as I would have expected. But 
Maybe that'll be a sign to, of things changing. This one is Raymond Gill. Right. It's out of here. Oh my goodness, that's what we needed. That's a two-run homer. Okay, well now we're only down six to four. I feel much better. That feels well, like a huge lift, but we're still down. But down 6-0, 6-1, 6-2, you right know, just being down Off four is a huge, feels like that's a huge deficit. So that's a big, up. man, we needed that home run for sure. Guys out to celebrate him. That's great to see. Number ten is up next. Okay, six four in the fourth. Nobody out. A foul ball. Slapped foul. We just gotta power through this. I did not. I knew this season would be a little bit more difficult, but I did not expect Richmond to give us trouble early on. That fastball misses in. And it happens in baseball. You're not always, you know, just things happen against teams you don't expect. But we have. I definitely don't There's want to drop this one. Just we come into the season. We're ranked fourth in the country. I was a little disappointed because we won the College World Series. I thought we would have been preseason number one fastball misses again, but. High. Missing those starting pitchers is certainly a big loss. And and we see it today. That okay, I like this. I wish JP could steal. I don't Number really want him to go. Let's see if we can get a base hit from Morales. Get through. Makes the play. Hey, get ready for a pair. Yeah, let's go. We got one down. Long. Toward Listed left. as a switch hitter. I'm hoping that. First. Will help it's us. Okay, good enough speed out. to get to, to first there. Beats it out. So we can field choice. Number seven is up next. Pilar's an interesting one. Ah, 52. Yeah, 52 speed, man. That's not that's not great. Runner first with two out. This one's hammered to second. Oh, man. That will put an end to the Miami. I think you have to have a. It's either a 75 or an 80 to get like the foot, the cleat um, icon by your player. He hits a ground to the third baseman. Oh my goodness. On to first. The official scorer wasted no time in ruling. That's another thing. I'm going to the left. And then he made the throw at the same time. Foul tip. Those are frustrating errors with this game, but that's not as bad as like some of the stuff I was doing before with like not timing my throws. Quickly falls behind 0-2. Making poor throws to first. That was happening way too much. So if I can avoid that, that's my biggest goal. And I'll try to get those plays where I throw to the wrong Struck base or out. wrong person in that sense. Number 23 is digging in. See if we can get a double play right. here. Change up. Knee high and over the inner half for a strike. Hit to short. The throw to second. Turn it. Got it. Ah, he's Over off. First. That yeah. one will go down. Offline, but that was a good play by Morales and Villar. Villar's an interesting one in terms of where I think, where he's going to kind of fit in in the lineup and also kind of what There's season he's going to have ball. this the year. The right fielder moving under it now. And the side is out. Richmond leaves But I do expect him to kind of go back to that second to base. He played shortstop when, when Freddy Zamora's been out, but I think Morales will get a shot there. And there's other guys as well that they can kind of, if they really want to go Valar at short, they could put, you know, a guy like maybe Adam Frank is a, a newcomer that they could put in at second. Oh, that might, that might drop. But all that stuff is going to matter, you know, it's going to depend on it when guys get opportunities and if they can hit the ball. That's going to be the biggest thing. Number 28 is one for one today with a double. Back easily on that pickup. I think this will be... You know, these will be interesting decisions for Damari as a head coach because, you know, lately base. in the lineup, it's been kind of pretty much set in terms of, look, Foul. these are their returners, guys that have played, um, but making those tough decisions on ball. lineups. He hasn't really had to do a lot of that, and I think this year he might have that. So there we go. That's a base hit. That's what we like to see for Lawless. So 6-5. to five. 
I like where we're at right first takes off. Get down. The sophomore steals another base. But with those those outfielder spots, I think you know Del Castillo in particular, and, and he is the older brother of Adrian Del Castillo. Here's the steal. I'm trying to go hit and run there. Action in the bullpen is Del. Yeah, they're warming up a pitcher. That's a good sign. Oh, I'm going to steal third, though. Almost worked that time. Runner goes. Throw to third. And he oh, is out of there. That's, hey, let's go. One down. that's okay. I'm aggressive. I'm aggressive. So guys are going to get thrown out. Not going to be safe every time. But that one hurts because Del Castillo follows with the double. We would have tied the game. The runner went that's hard how it goes. And put himself in scoring position. And yeah. So Christian actually goes by Delhi. If you kind of hear that reference, that's going to drop. That'll that'll tie it. There we go. Tied up at six. Alex Terrell, get down. Nice. Miami even it up. That's great to see. I cannot believe we we completed the comeback. We're in the fifth inning. I think Raymond Gill's home run there to get it to six four was huge. Let's keep this thing going. Yeah, he's a little bit off Breaking this pitcher. Two oh man, if he throws a fastball down the middle, if I could drive something, take the lead here. This one is crushed. Get out. Right. It's out nice. Here. Raymond Gill with two home runs in the game. We got the lead back, completed the comeback, got to the fifth inning. That's all it needed to take the lead. Two home runs, four RBIs. Wow, huge game runs. for Gill when the we needed them. And they had to take out the pitcher. That's good. The Eight to six. Now we got this lead. I feel good about it. And quietly, that might drop, but quietly. Yeah, drop, drop. Nice, Gates. But we give up the sixth spot in the first inning, and then we've thrown up zeros afterwards. Because that's the worst case scenario. And not only do you give up six runs, but you. Just to get the six on to tie it back, but we got to hold him at six. You know, you can't just keep giving up more runs. So that's been good that our pitching and defense is held up. That's a bad swing. And the out. Who else do we have here? We got Jared Thomas. Let's do that. I don't want to give, you know. I want to give a lot of guys opportunities. Long had a couple at bats, but let's get Jared Thomas in here. And that did not work out. Had that late break in movement. Got to pop out. But I'll just leave Thomas and right field to take long spot. Eight to six lead through five. There we go. Okay, so now we just need everybody to hold up here. Ground ball on the left side. Throw to first. One out. Nice play by Morales. Morales is a guy that worked with former Hurricane Harold Nobody Martinez, who also played at Braddock. So you're, you're here, you will hear a lot of comparisons between the two. Braddock doesn't always produce a lot of top-level prospects like that. Martinez played at UM, had some good seasons. Right Get there. Oh, Jared Thomas lacking on the speed, but that's okay. The senior is on with the but then double. Martinez Enders goes to a minor league career, doesn't make it up to the big leagues, but wraps up his minor league career and then goes back to coach at, at Braddock and kind of works with Morales. So I think that's good to see is just that one's fouled away. a little bit of a mentorship type thing. And Morales is a guy, again, 6'4", guy that can hit the ball. I think it will be fun to watch at Miami. And hopefully you can kind of solidify Brown that shortstop position like you've seen with other shortstops at Miami. The innings over. over the years, you know, it seems like, you know, Zamora held it down Rich for three seasons and, you know, just different guys, Brandon Lopez, you know, essentially when guys get in there, they kind of stay at that spot, that shortstop. There's not a, usually a lot of flexibility or a lot of inconsistency there. It's usually a position that Hit on the ground, somebody earns ball. a spot and starts Throw there for a couple first. years. It's kind of just been the history, how it's been. Number 51 is up next. Back to the top of the order here. Fastball line to oh, center. man, that's a nice Makes defensive play. Richmond's made some nice defensive plays, I'm not going to lie. Number 28 is digging in. That's a hard hit ball. Got a drop. 
He's on his way to second. And you guys know, like, the home runs are great, and that certainly has gotten us back into the game. But man, the players that can rack up doubles, to the third such a huge fan of. On to first. This inning is over. Miami oh, leads man. A man on Would have liked to have get that ninth run there. Got Beverly and Palmquist ready to go. So they got righty, lefty. Okay. The Hurricanes I'm going to go ahead and put Palmquist in. Even though there's a, a right handed batter here, got the left hander up next. The fast Already in the seventh inning, the and basically we've got to close this thing out here. I, I still think, even though Palmquist um, showed a lot of signs last year, I think they really like him out of the bullpen as opposed to moving into the starting rotation. There's a fly oh. ball. Oh my goodness. Good catch by Thomas. The senior will get a chance here. Breaking ball caught the inside corner. So yeah, I'm thinking, you know, we go Palmquist for the seventh. I could always go back to Fetterman for the eighth. Once again, I want to get Fetterman a start just to see what that's like. I Doubly's warm, so I wouldn't really have to do much there. I could just plug him in for the eighth, give him an opportunity. Hit the oh, shallow man. right. He's on with a single. And then ha set up Winger for the ninth for another, another save opportunity. Right. Fooled him with a fastball. Came inside and caught part of the plate. George Short. Oh and it my gets goodness. By him on the I was thinking we could turn two on that. Looks like it was coming a in a little bit too hot. Hit. Hard hit ball there. Okay, one out here. We don't want this to get out of hand. There we go, Palmquist. Chibalar, let's turn it. Nice. It's a good way to get out of it. Nice play by Palmquist, though. Anytime a pitcher can field the ball like that. Start a double play is huge. Let's set him down. Who else do we got? Medeiros, maybe? I want to go with Fetterman here. Once again, I think that you I can't remember, but I think the schedule, the way it works is I don't think we play again until the next week, so all the pitchers will be healthy. Hopefully Smith gets his stamina back up and we're ready to go there. Give him another start. I don't remember who we play or even if it's a two or three game set. But certainly if it's three. Just missed with a fastball. Three games I could get a, a new starter in there. But like I said in the comments, drop below and let me know who you want to see in there. High fastball. I really like what McFarland did that first game and with what he did last year, so I'd like to get him in there. Okay, that's a terrible play. It's been a good game for Terrell, though. And obviously, excellent for Raymond Gill, the two home runs. That's crazy. Nobody on base and one gone. Takes a tailing fastball. He's got the 84 power against a right-handed pitcher. Fastball, low. 2 -0 count. This is good. Three zero. I want to swing three zero. I want to go power swing three zero. Oh my goodness! Get out. Raymond Gill with his third home run of the game. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. That three zero count. I told you I was gonna try to go power swing. Well, he gets enough get that this bomb. That's a great, like what a great performance for Gill. I don't remember if anyone hit three home runs last year in one game. But that's great. Ball strike on the outer edge. We've got so many different guys that can, in the lineup that could do damage. So that's Line There we go. Left. I want, oh my goodness. The These singles the off the wall are driving me nuts. Alright, Morales. 0 for 3. Let's get a base hit here. 66. Do we have anybody? Okay, we got Del Casillo. 77, that's good. The good speed. Let's see if we can steal second. 
One on one out. Tries to steal second base. Oh, that was, that was close. He's in there. Deli's in there with the steal. Oh, the manager. Oh, he's pissed. Is he going to get tossed? That was crazy. La I remember last season, Coach got tossed like both games in, or two games in a series or something. Maybe three times. It was crazy. I forgot what game, what series that was. The ball ah. hit out to left. He should be able to get to this. He's out of there. Jared Thomas. I'd like to get him going here. Hit nice line, base right hit. That's exactly what we're looking for. Can he get in there? Right through the stop sign. Nice. And it will score yeah. a run. I said I ran right through the stop sign. I've got to get more runs. So 10 to 6, this is great. I feel really good about this with where we're at. I feel like we can close this thing out. Got more speed. Rivera's a 77. Got some pitchers with a little bit of speed, but not enough to steal. The Let's get Rivera in there. He can a steal a base. Two gone. The runner at first takes off. The junior with a stolen base. We'll just stay a second. So that's great. Anytime they go off speed pitch on, on a, obviously on a ball or uh, on a pitcher running on, that's great because of the timing. It takes a little split second. Towards second. That baby was crushed back Take up it in the there. middle. The fielder comes in up there? with it. Nice, Rivera. That's that good move. Get still second, and then he's got that extra speed to, to wrap around and get home. So 11 to 6. That's great. This is crazy. We're down 6 0. Can't believe that's where we're at now. Especially with last game, the 2 to 1. Offense really coming alive here. Different guys. There's a jam shot to the left side. The that might have been a bad pitch to swing at. That's a hard That's pitch to turn on that high, high and inside. A man on first. Really got to get the bat head around to drive it, and then it's hard to keep it fair. So maybe I just need to lay off that pitch. We got a big lead. Let's see. Okay, so Dubberly is actually ready to go, even though I sat him down. Let's get him in there, make his Miami debut. We've got a nice lead. I'm okay with doing different pitchers. Go ahead and sit him down. The Hurricanes are making a substitution. The sophomore is going to come in as a reliever. Looks like the head coach. Double is a guy. He's one of those eight guys that could in the is in the running to be a starter. But I want to get these guys at least some innings in this opening weekend here. Victor Medeiros is a guy that I'd like to get in there as well. Quickly in a hole, 0 and 2. It's a good start for Dubberly. Juco transfer, start his career at Georgia. Strike. Nice out strikeout. You know, Andrew Walters is another Juco transfer right. pitcher Fast to keep an eye on. I don't know if he'll strike. make the impact as some of these other guys this season, but he's just one to watch. And with last name Walters, if you guys don't know, he's the this his uncle is Matt Walters, former football center. player, standout from Miami, played on their national championship team in 2001. So that'll be good to see his development. But Dubberly, I like it. Territory. Makes the catch it's a good performance by him. Number 52 is so two outs, today. one on. Let's go ahead and get, get out of this. Swung through a fast this is moving right along, way. which is great to see. Once again, down 6-0. Pull it all the way back. Tight it in the fifth and then go ahead and kind of create some distance. Yeah, there's definitely other guys to, to get in the mix. I haven't even played with Carlos Perez, the catcher. He's another guy to look for. CJ Capus is another one. I think he was a top 100 recruit. So there's definitely some good guys to watch for from Miami. They're going to have some options, outfielder DH, so... 
It's a shallow left. Nice. I feel like just kind of feeling like this is the first game with Lala, but I feel like he could have a really good season. Okay, Del Casio is a low batting average. We gotta, we gotta get some, we gotta get a hit. Here. I'm not worried about a double or home run. Let's just get a base hit here. Tries to steal second base. Safe at second with the steal. Yeah, I don't know if I could have ran. I tried it. I did the feet first slide, but man, I don't think I could have made it to third. Breaking pitch shot. I got to be ready for that. I am not anticipating that pitch very well. Number 30 is up next. Fast two seam. In there at the letters. Man, two seam fastballs are tough to pick up on if you don't see them a lot. Just that, that movement kind of breaking away from you at the last second. I feel one like once you see one. him, though. Oh man, I didn't get that one. That one's a little high. Curveball out of the zone. Two two count. Here we go. One out. You gotta get this run in. Slices foul. I would definitely take a sack fly here. Kinda wanna power one Action of the outfield. Oh my goodness, that is such a tough pitch. Number Raymond Gill, can he make it four home here. runs? That'd be crazy. Two gone. Breaking Yikes. Ball, a strike on the outer edge. That looked really uncomfortable, that swing. Pops oh up man, toward first. that's tough. Yeah, I think that was another slider. That's, the end of the inning. that's some good movement. Kind of jams me up a little bit. So let's get Medeiros in here. He's another guy like Rosario. I didn't expect to end up at Miami. I saw him play in high school. He also hit the ball. You know, he was a hitter as well. Actually, his last high school game I was at, he had a home run. You can check the, the, the channel. You type in Victor Medeiros. You can see him in action there. But he's a guy that's been really highly regarded for a long time. You know, once again, for a few years in high school, the power arm. The Hurricanes. Just kind of getting some other guys in there, but number 61 is once again with the low the amount of number draft two is going rounds. To as the new first I mean, is a guy that squeezes through and ends up at Miami. Long fly oh ball, no! That's gone. It was Man. gone when it left the bat. I feel. I still feel comfortable with our lead, but I did not want to give up a home run. Number 26 by Menderos in his first game as a hurricane. Swinging strike and a breaking ball away. 11 to 7. There we go, Villar. Nice play. For the out. This guy's got four hits. My goodness. There's a fly ball and makes the play. So yeah, we're definitely winding yep. down here. This is going well. Eleven to seven. Only need one more out. Whiffed at the heater on the inside corner. And I've kind of mixed it up a little bit with playing a game. I, I play all the games, but just basically for the video, Ground showing you the full the game. Base, you guys like this better. First, and that will do it for this game. Well, that's good. Two and zero. Oh. Got a weekend sweep, only two games. I really like that the bats showed up today. Really disappointed with that first inning with Jake Smith. Didn't, didn't have it going in his debut, but I want to give him another opportunity. Rosario came in pitch well, definitely. I'm going to show you guys a box score here. But 18 hits. Had the one error once again. It was an error thrown to the wrong, wrong base, but that's going to happen at times the way this works. I'll show you the box score. Yeah, four hits for Lala, four hits for Gil, the three home runs, five RBIs. Terrell with three hits. Gates had a couple. Jared Thomas got one coming in. 18 hits, that's good. So we got some doubles, two by Terrell, two by Lala. Great to see. Jenkins with his first homer, had some still stolen bases. Three by Lala. Oh, he caught, got caught once. Look at the line here. Yeah, Rosario, the four hits. That's great. Four scoreless innings. Gets his first win. 
Definitely want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to like the video if you like this series. Subscribe to the channel as well. And visit InsideTheU.com for all your information on the Miami Hurricanes, the baseball team, and you can follow me on Twitter. Thanks again for watching and take care.